Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So with a new patch, brings new features, new excitement, and new challenges, but more importantly, increases the stability of the game. So let's get started, we're gonna have a look at what the new patch has actually brought to the table for us. So first of all, listen carefully. I'm gonna bring up the hood and just listen to these sounds. So these sounds are definitely a new improvement. It really allows you to know that you selected something. So listen to the jetpack switching off, for instance. You know that you've done something. More importantly, they've improved the building noises. So we've got one for building, and we've got one for deleting. And what's really I really like about this is it sounds just like an old-scale electric game that I used to play when you used to place the track. And it's just really nice to have that sound back. Another sound that I can tell they've added is the cockpit. So listen to the cockpit when we enter the cockpit. You get this really sort of electronic sort of access noise. They've not added like cameras or anything interesting to this panel work, but I'm sure that'll come in time. But they have done something else that we've all asked for for a very long time as well. So you can see I've renamed this door, back door, but I've missed a B off for some reason. And you can rename all of these objects that you want. So small reactor, say that was the backup reactor, we'll just name it uh, backup. That'd be perfect. So you just have that backup reactor on or off and you know everything. But more importantly, this comes into factors when you're actually using rotors. So for instance, you're using a rotor and this rotor, for instance, only can turn the right way or else it's gonna snap and damage something. So you just write in the rotor, left turning only or right turning. It's a good little reference thing because before I had to write in beacons or sometimes I just get completely confused. So let's move on just a little. So these are the corridor blocks. These are replacing the ladder and to be honest, I was rather upset when I heard the ladder went in the previous patch and now they've replaced it with this. It's, it's made it a little bit better but it's one of them things where you don't really miss it until it's gone. And the ladder went, and I've missed it in so many ship designs. I've actually needed it in more ship designs. So this is the problem that I've noticed with this block. You can't place directly on the top. You have to build up around it like so. There we go. And then just build something nice, simple like that. So the problem then you gain is that you can't actually stick lights up on top in these little gaps. You see, I'm trying to place a light. But I can't actually place it. So to come up and solve that problem, I've had to do this. And I don't, I don't think it looks as cool with these like open planes as it does with this. But then you've got a really dark corridor. So these are nice little backup corridors. Maybe having them running through the back of your ship as an escape corridor. Maybe to your escape pod or something. Still a very nice idea, but I'd like to see ladders as well. So we've covered that. And let's take a trip through our corridor to the next area. And this is something that many of you guys probably didn't think much about, but the actual functionality of this is going to increase your gameplay experience by so much. So we've got a back door on the ship, so this is allowing us to climb up on our ship from the back, say we've got a cargo passage or something, and then just get ourselves right in, and we've got that sound again. And what's even more interesting, this is, I'm not too sure about, but you get out exactly where you get in. So I'm going to go around the front and you get out exactly where you got in so that's what i really like about it as well because you can get out in the back now and you can be safe inside your small little ship as the small little ship goes dri drifting off into space probably should have locked that down so i'll just delete that so the next thing that i want to look at is coloring coloring it in your ships you can now color them in you can have a hello kitty ship if you want one and you can have a nice stealth blue and we'll just show you how that works so control p brings up the colorization palette like so and then what we basically can do we can change the hue the saturation of the color so we can have it like a really light or we can have it really dark or we can just have it on i'd recommend having it on zero saturation or around a zero and then playing with the slider because it's a lot you get a lot nicer colors but i mean if you just want to brighten or darken a color up then that could be a pretty nice option then you've got the value so you can just change it from dark to green and it's just really nice so we can have a nice purple ship so say we, 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 we're sick of our pink ship we can bring in a nice purple color and we can actually color in the whole station purple by mistake and then obviously you can just cycle through your colors like before and then fix the issues so you'll have a gray there but what I like to particularly do is I'm going to show you this I've already done a little bit of a demo there for you is get very similar colors together so for instance I have got in this little palette I've got this light blue and then I've got this lighter blue and then finally I've got this I've got this yellow and they're like colors that look really nice together and you can just select between them really fast and get them coloring because before you had to go and cycle all the way through the palette again but you can just put the colors that you want to use in one small section 
So that is a pretty nice little feature. So that is pretty much the same. There's not too many other things changed. We've got car going, and more importantly, we've got more stability, so explosions won't cause as much lag. And now we move on to doors, and we move on to the idea of synchronization. So all objects now in multiplayer are better synchronized. So if a player comes through this doorway, I am going to see him. If a player turns on a light, changes the color of the light, I'm going to see the door, the, the item actually change, and it's going to be very interesting. It's not going to be no more of a guy walking through a door without me actually opening it or letting him in. I have to physically let him in. And this game is coming out very well. I mean, there's so many features out. They're really listening to our feedback and they're implementing what we want. So from the naming of the items, and it's just, it's just absolutely great that they're actually doing it to this level. So thanks for watching, guys, and I hope I've updated you. The last thing that I've not covered is gravity generators, and I'm going to skip to a little bit where I've built something rather interesting for you to watch. So the final thing I want to show you is gravity generators. You can now use them a lot more effectively, and obviously with renaming it's a lot easier, but the fields have changed just a little bit. So if you notice here, in this area, I have perfect gravity. I'm in the perfect area. But if I move over here, inside my no gravity box, I have no gravity, because my gravity generators are, of course, cancelling each other out. But what you can do is if you go over to your gravity generator, you access it, like so you can actually start messing with the field with the size so you can either have it affecting 150 meters so basically what you can create is a vortex so just imagine this uh, what basically will happen is the gravity will pull it up this gravity generator ceases to exist you access this gravity generator that this gravity generator then pulls it that way and then the next gravity generator could pull it up so basically you'd basically make um a gravity based uh, what's it called production line um what's it called so conveyor belt, a gravity based conveyor belt to pull your items so you can make a chute so imagine a box here, pull the chute up launches it to there, launches it to there and then you could just basically make a directional gravitational chute with the strength of the gravity, the field depth and the acceleration, of course you can make the gravity affect the opposite way so I'll just drop the gravity, so the gravity will all fire everything off over there because the gravity on this main one well, the one that I believe was facing down just disappeared so that will restabilize everything so everything was shot to this size but now the gravity is being cancelled out you can see how the gravity there is f failing to exist in one of the directions so let's actually get back inside and fix that so if we find the one that's having a problem field height there I believe it might be that one let's just check through field height of that one it's causing some and then we've got one on minus acceleration, aren't we? So we're doing this should restabilize the situation. So yeah, there we go. We've restabilized it because we made another gravity generator pull in two directions. So it could be very interesting. Just imagine you're going through one of these corridors, um, one of these corridors like this, and then you enter another room, and then the gravity twists you, and you're now walking on this side, and then you need to walk down there, and then it twists you back, for instance. And then all sorts of amazing things could happen with it. You could make some great designs, like maybe having a gravity generator on a rotating part. So as you move through the ship, you're rotating around and you're just moving forward still. But the gravity generator is actually holding you up in that direction. So thanks for watching, guys. And I have got quite a few ideas of what we can be doing with this sort of stuff. So there's going to be a few videos over the next few days. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.